So before we go any further, I want to kind of just uh, uh, summarize what it is that we've learned so far with electricity and magnetism and how that's leading us into light. Um, uh, uh, kind of take us out of this ab abstract zone of, of Maxwell's equations, stuff like that, as cool as they are as showing uh, 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 how you know electromagnetic radiation is generated. I want to give us more now a visual, visual sense of what that looks like. And I'll start by a bit of review. So if I have a positive charge and that positive charge is just sitting at rest, uh, or any charge, any charge is going to emit an electric field. All charges emit electric fields. If you have, an, uh, if you have a charge, you, uh, 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 by definition, emit an electric field. However, if that charge moves, then that charge generates a magnetic field. Any movement whatsoever, if it's moving to the left, moving to the right, up, down, back, forward, blah, blah, blah. If it charge moves, it generates a magnetic field. And we saw that with the evidence of the wire with the compass. Now, here's where we're getting to uh, uh, electromagnetic radiation, which is if that charge accelerates back, forth, back, forth, back, forth, back, forth, it'll generate uh, an electromagnetic wave. So again, accelerating charges back, forth, back, forth, or like this, if the charge is any sort of acceleration of charge, so if it's moving in a circle or going back and forth, oscillating back and forth, it'll generate an electromagnetic wave. So what does that look like? So I'll show you guys a couple more video, uh, a bit more video, I know a video within a video, but this is a really good visual representation. So once again, if we have a static charge, uh, positive charges, which is in red, are going to generate electric fields that go out. Negative charges will generate electric fields that go in. However, once again, it is a moving charge. It is a moving charge. I have this a little bit slower than usual because uh, uh, there we go. There we go. So it's a moving charge. It'll generate a magnetic field as it moves. Now, is it discrete like that? No, it's not discrete like that. It happens on a continuous path. Uh, it's just doing that so that you can get a good visual sense of that. So again, there's a magnetic field from a positive charge. You can use your right hand rule and predict the direction of that positive charge. However, we've also gotten, I should probably make that because I know this is going to take a little while. So let's make this go a little bit faster. Maybe let's try 0.75. So uh, uh, we've also found that electric fields can uh, be generated by changing magnetic fields. So if the, if the magnetic field is changing with time, it'll generate an electric field or an electric potential. And that's what we found out with Faraday's law. Um, uh, uh, yeah, any changing magnetic field generates uh, an electric field or an electric potential. All right. Well, likewise, uh, as we saw in the previous video, uh, um, uh, 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 Maxwell basically found out, said, you know, assuming symmetry is kind of the way he went about it is, well, then a changing electric field should generate a magnetic field, right? And, and that's where that extra part, you saw Ampere's law there, uh, uh, but it had this extra term into it, and that was this term right here, which is that a changing electric field will generate a magnetic field. Well, you could probably guess, oh, those things too will probably play off one another. So if I have a, 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 come on, you can get there, you can do it, there you go. If you have a magnetic field, that'll create an electric field, the magnetic field, the electric field, the magnetic field, electric field, magnetic field, electric field. Once again, that's a magnetic field, then an electric field, then a changing magnetic field, changing electric field, changing magnetic, changing electric. And you can see this wave starts to propagate, this thing starts to propagate, there's a disturbance that starts to propagate and go forward. How fast does it travel? Well, we found that out in the previous video, it travels at the speed of light C. Uh, um, so yeah, uh, uh, a couple more visualizations of this, of, of what that could look like. There's a FET simulation. Uh, it is a Java simulation, so not everybody's going to be able to look at this, which is one of the reasons I did this video. So if I got a radio station here and they want to broadcast something, they got their antenna here, well, the antenna is basically full of these electrons. And if I oscillate the electron, so if I oscillate the electron, it's going to generate an electromagnetic wave. And that electromagnetic wave will just oscillate up and down, up and down, up and down. But if you see the frequencies that I'm doing here are not matching with this frequency right here. I need to match, if, now if I send my electron such that the frequency say 98.7 FM, which uh, I don't know, it's some sort of Hertz, I don't know what it is, I can then resonate with these other, uh, with you know some other 
poor Schmo's uh, uh, antenna here, if I m match the frequency that this person's uh, antenna uh, uh, reaches, then they'll be able to uh, uh, be able to detect my uh, broadcast, the frequency at which I'm resonating at. So again, this electron is oscillating back and forth. It's generating an electromagnetic wave. Out it goes, and it is resonating with this electron right here, or electrons that are in this antenna, and it picks those up and we're able to detect those. So one last visualization here. Uh, uh, so kind of uh, showing a bit more. Uh, what, I, what I like about this is it shows both the electric field and the magnetic field. So the vertical, these things that are on the vertical axis right here are the uh, electric fields. On the horizontal axis are these back and forth things or the magnetic fields that are generated. If you can see they're perpendicular to each other and both the fields are perpendicular to their propagation. It's propagating out like this. Uh, uh, yeah, so and uh, I'll also send a link to this. What's really cool about this is you can really get a sense, you know, you can zoom around and really really get a good visual sense of what is going on there. Uh, the thing we have in the center here is the antenna or whatever's broadcasting this. So there are electrons that are oscillating in this tube right here. And then the fields are propagating out. Again, vertical is the electric field, uh, horizontal is the magnetic field. So yeah, just wanted to give you guys that, that visual sense of what it is that we're looking at. All right. Hope that helped. Talk to you later. Bye.